picture this. It's 1999. Terry has her handicam right here in the Enviro Park. Here we have some scary looking characters. That person's dressed up as a Great Dane. Let's see what it looks like now. There's the dingo exhibit. Almost done. In the diner. The dingo exhibit's almost done. Shingleback, Tasmanian Devil exhibit. It's Murray and Molly's. It is January 2024 and one of our busiest days here at Australia Zoo. But taking a look back at 1999, our dingo habitat was just about to open. And lucky us, it's open now and we're going to give you a behind the scenes tour. <laughs> Hello, Evies. We've got Jira and Evie here, and behind you is their brother, Archie, up on the rock. I love this habitat so much because the dingoes have so much different terrain to explore. They even have a creek, and people can come view them from 360 and have a look at them while they say hello. Oh my gosh, Eve, you're so cute. <laughs> and it's summer here in Queensland, so they're shedding their little coat. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're getting kisses. So right now, Michaela is sprinkling some Parmesan cheese for the dingoes. And you can see straight away, Archie is going to start rolling in it. So this is a very natural behavior for dingoes. They will try find any form of duck poo, wombat poo, whatever they can find, and do big rolls around. They don't have a natural scent, so it gives them a bit of a perfume, we call it. He's also eating it now, so um, apparently Archie likes Parmesan as well. But as long as they're happy, we're happy. Wow, dingoes, <laughs> they are definitely here and they're adorable. Now I want to show you something that you could see in the background of Terry's footage this way. Cassowaries have the capacity to kill. They can rip something right open with their sharp toenails. Moving on. On Terry's footage, you can see her point the camera in this direction and say, and here's our wetlands. But over there now, you'll find our new state-of-the-art staff room. Over here is actually a freshwater crocodile exhibit back in the day. It's now been transformed into one of our American alligator habitats. But then behind you there, used to be a toilet block and we've grown so much as a zoo we've converted that to a storeroom and popped state-of-the-art toilets over at our laughing frog lolly shop but next we have what was a shingleback habitat it's still a lizard habitat you can find our blue tongues in there and some eastern water dragons hi now the next part is probably one of the coolest terry talks about our devil's habitat almost opening and you can actually see the same mock rock structure as we still have here today but now it's finished and it's open check it out We have two Tasmanian devils in here at the moment and we also on the other side of what was the toilet block have a whole nother habitat for a Tassie devil as well. You didn't see that in the footage but that's there now. And right next to our Tassie devils we have some of the most refurbished part of this archive footage. Over here was a croc habitat and here was a croc habitat. Those crocs both now live at the Crocosseum and are fed in our daily shows. But over here, we popped in one of many dinosaurs that were gifted to Robert over his birthday. So he absolutely loves dinosaurs, and this one's probably one of the most popular. It's pretty cool, let's take a look. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Craggy! <laughs> Well, that brings us to the end of this tour, but I tell you what, we have so many tapes just like this one. Comment below what area of the zoo you wanna see then and now. Make sure you subscribe to keep up with all the wild action here at Australia Zoo. <laughs> this is literally where guests came in through this one door. One door. So cool.